here you are in my figma account and as you can see that this is the design which i have got so this is the exact website we're going to build from scratch so before i start moving to the development process and start writing the code let me grab all the assets so i'm as you can see in this design they have used a lot of images so i'm going to grab all these images this icons and this logo and they have used some certain properties on this like menus like i have to check the font family what kind of spacing they have used i can extract it and that will become very handy when i will write the code in my css so let me show you that how you can extract like this icons this this images this icon this properties value so to extract the images all i have to do i can come here and as you can see e-commerce and here you can see that they have used a lot of blend properties like this stylings so you can highlight that as well you can over it and you can highlight that but if i want to extract the images i can come to this widget which i think wig is wings e-commerce and here you will find all the groupings so if you see this group 55 represent this header menu and this frame is internal menu and this is a complete sidebar and this is a grid so as i told you that they are designed this website using the grid properties so inside this you can able to find all the sections so let's start with the sidebar and let me show you that how you can extract the property so let me close the section and let's come to the section so this is my entire sidebar inside this i have the section so i will highlight this this sidebar navigations hold this property and this property so if i want to go this and go this one is how and if i want to extract this icon i can just simply come this is the icon if i expand this what i can found that they have designed this using this like rectangles they have added their text so i do i want to extract this complete image i don't want to extract this rectangle individually i have to download this entire logo completely and not one by one so i'll make it as a group and i will click here and i will simply come down here and here you will find an option of preview so completely click on preview and check everything that you are getting the complete image so once you get that complete image and here you can able to find all the properties which they have used for designing this icon so if i open it they have used rectangle alphabet and this text so they have also assigned the property and that's all property you can able to find it here if i take it up you can able to find the dimensions this prototype and inspect so what kind of styling they have used like with 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 high top left and this is the pass through you can simply copy this one but let me show you that how you can extract the images so click on the preview whenever you extract image always make sure that you check the preview because sometime you miss certain parts so here just change it to logo so as you can see they have already given the name logo if you want to change this to something else you can do it so let's say d a u l a t dollar so i can give whatever name you want and from here you can change the extension like if you want png jpg csv and phd file so if you have i would recommend you always that whenever you want to extract the images or especially logos use csv because when that becomes very handy you can create you can add certain animation you can do a lot of things if you know how to work with csv so i would recommend you to go with png so click on png and click on extract so here i have extracted the image let me open it and let me show you so here i got my image in png format so this is how i can extract so if i want to extract this images i can come to my grid sections i'll come to this first grid and here i will check okay this is the image inside that so i'll come here and i will check this these are the icons so i can select here and from here i can select the icon i can click on export and here i will have my icons again same way i can come to this section i can see which portion is it so this is the image so if i want to download this i can simply come here and i can click on export same i will do for this section so this is a section and this is the image so what you want to download the complete section because as you can see this is the image on top of that we have this icon so i want to download the image separately and icon separately so i can just open this and here i will get the image only let's come to and click on export i get the image so i will simply click here and download it so this is how you can extract the images from a figma file and to know the properties to check that what kind of properties they have used in the styles you can simply come and this is the background image they have used uh they have increased the transparency you can check that from here so i can come to the sidebar and let me show you that how you can do the changes so if i expand this and if i check open this one so i want to check the all the properties which they have used like a font family font size inline height everything i can have it from here so i'll come here they have used the black color as you can see this is the color we going to use for our text and let's come to the prototype there is nothing come to inspect and here you can find that they have assigned a width to 200 25.54 pixels this is the height this is the margin they have assigned from the top from left and this is the property so everything is provided to you and this big and when you have all this property this styling these ads it become very handy to develop the website 
So this is how you can extract the images from your Figma file. It's very easy. If you want to do in a grouping, you can do that as well. As, you, as I told you that, simply come here and if you want to extract the entire thing in a group way, you can just click here and here you can able to find all the properties which they have used as a group. And that's an amazing thing for a developer to get the things done. You can simply copy this styling and paste into your CSS code. So that's it for the extracting part. Now let me take you to my Visual Code Studio and show you that how we can use all this property, all this image and build this amazing website from scratch. So let's start and let me take you to my Visual Code Studio.